If anybody has any prayer requests, um, put it in the comment section. I'll pray over it. This message is titled, Taking Time to Pray. Here recently I seen a poem that said, I got up early one morning and rushed right into the day. I had so much to accomplish that I didn't have time to pray. Problems just tumbled about me. And heavier come each task. Why doesn't God help me? I wondered. He answered, you didn't ask. I wanted to see joy and beauty, but the day told on gray and black. I wondered why God didn't show me. He said you didn't seek. I tried to come into God's presence. I used all my keys at the lock. God gently and lovingly killed him, my child, you didn't knock. Matthew chapter 7. I got a new Bible here recently, by the way, and this is the first Bible study that I'm doing with it. Matthew chapter 7. Verse 7 and 8. Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For everyone that asketh us, receive us. And he that seek us, find us. And to him that knock us, it shall be opened. The New Living Translation puts it, Keep on asking, and you will receive. Keep on seeking, and you will find. Keep on knocking, and the door will be open to you. For everyone who asks receives, everyone who seeks finds, and to everyone who knocks, the door will be open. The reason I wanted to point that out is sometimes you have to keep asking. Sometimes you have to keep seeking. Sometimes you have to keep knocking. Matthew 26. Starting in verse 36. Then comes Jesus with them unto a place called Gethsemane, and says unto the disciples, Sit ye here while I go and pray yonder. And he took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee, which is James and John, and began to be sorrowful and very heavy. Then says he unto them, My soul 
is exceeding sorrow oh. even unto death. Tarry ye here and watch with me. And he went a little farther and fell on his face. And prayed, saying, O my Father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as thou will. And he cometh unto the disciples, and findeth them asleep, and says unto Peter, What could ye not watch with me one hour? Watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. He went away again the second time and prayed, saying, O oh my Father, if this cup may not pass away from me, except I drink it, thy will be done. And he came and found them asleep again, for their eyes were heavy. And he left them and went away again, and prayed the third time, saying the same words. Then cometh he to his disciples, and says unto them, Sleep on now, and take your rest. Behold, the hour is at hand, and the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Which if you read further into that text, on into the next chapter, you'll find that Peter followed Jesus. Followed him to the temple. And someone spotted Peter. And said. This man was with Jesus of Nazareth. And three times. Peter denied knowing Jesus. When Jesus arose, he actually had to tell Mary Magdalene, tell the disciples and Peter, because Peter had denied Jesus and did not see himself worthy to be a disciple. But think, had he prayed that night like he was supposed to, He would not have denied Jesus. First Peter chapter four, verse seven. But the end of all things is at hand. Be ye therefore sober and watch unto prayer. Philippians chapter 4 verse 6.
Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Now I know a lot of times things that we go through throughout the day it gets us to a point where we find ourselves not having time to pray. But that's when we have to make time to pray. No matter what happens we should always pray. So we need to take the time to pray every day. Even if it involves getting up earlier in the morning. 